Lily Matthews, Sarah Carson, Ana Maria Torres, Kate Waters, Elizabeth Anderson, Alex James. We were all part of the, we are all part of Silly Stuff Club. You may or not remember us, but we used to be in a series called Danger After Dark. Brandon only did one episode, the first chapter, and you never got to see the whole story, and you never got to see most of us. So, Brandon decided that maybe she tried to give this series another chance. So, without further ado, please enjoy Chapter 2 of Danger After Dark. By 2 o'clock, everybody had assembled for a special crisis meeting. The meeting will now come to order. Lily counted off all the numbers in her head. Sarah, Kate, Elizabeth, Alex, Anna Maria, and herself, Lily, lifetime president of the Silly Stuff Club. The Silly Stuff Club was a group of friends who collected things like old phonograph records, though they didn't have a machine to play them on. They met weekly to have their show and tell for girls only. They met in the Carson's carriage house, which led Lily to today's emergency meeting agenda. Sarah's family was moving to Chattanooga. So by the end of the summer, the club would be without Sarah and minus one clubhouse. But your parents can't move away, just like that. Ugh. Just tell your daddy you won't go to Chattanooga. Slam your door and refuse to come out until he swears on his grandmother's grave not to drag you off to Chattanooga. My parents won't notice anything less than a category for a hurricane. I'm not an only child like you. Pooh. Don't you know how to pitch a hissy? Throw a window rattling, door slamming, refuse to come out of your room for three days tantrum? <sighs> Lily's five friends had been in the Silly Stuff Club since her, with her since third grade. Today they stood, squatted and sprawled among the trunks boxes and chairs that they dragged into the small carriage house over the past three years. What will we do with all our stuff? Isn't your sister going to college? Maybe we could move into her room. And die. Well, we can't move it into our place. Dad and I live in a townhouse, and there's barely room for three tetra, tiny, tiny tetras and two black mollies. Where would we put something like a dressmaker's dummy? A month ago, maybe we could have moved it above our garage. But did I tell you that my grandmother is coming from Mexico to live with us? My father is fixing her an apartment up there. I am helping decorate it. It won't fit into our, in our place. My mom made me clean out a bunch of soccer equipment and softball and basketball stuff. She said the house is about to burst. Honestly, no. My folks would never go for it. Not here. Maybe at our farm in Vermont. It has outbuildings. Here, Nicks and Double Nick. No. What were so? What were they going to do? Hmm. Lily picked up a ratty canvas high top shoe. It was a perfect example for the kind of stuff they needed to find a home for. She herself had brought the shoe to the Silly Stuff Club, and the girls had gone nearly comatose with laughter. Long ago, some boy had inked on the sole. I love Melva Winston's hall. By a little research, Lily had asked Grandpa Max one night at supper. She said that the shoe had been worn for playing basketball. The hog referred to a big motorcycle, and Melva Winston had blasted out of town in her Harley nearly half a century ago, leaving broken hearts in the exile. Melva Winston. What? Melva Winston rode out of town in her motorcycle and never came back. Maybe there's an answer to our problem here. In that nasty old shoe? The abandoned estate down at the end of this road is called the Old Winston Estate. Nobody has seen or heard from Melva Winston in almost half a century, and she was the heiress. The what? She inherited everything. She gets to keep all the family's money and stuff. Lily watched her presidential thought take hold in her friends' minds. Probably nobody would be using the Old Winston Estate. I'll bet that old place has buildings like this one. Not that you can actually see anything. Yeah, all you can see is sticking up over the brick walls a bunch of chimneys. There must be ten of them. That place is huge. My mom says that if any of us go near it, we're grounded till we're old enough to vote. Mom gave us haircuts last night, 
And while she was doing mine, Nikki shoved a bean up his nose. Tell me the truth. How bad does it look? Mm -hmm. Lily couldn't think of anything presidential to say, so she was glad when Elizabeth piped up with a suggestion to take Sarah to do her hair style. She charges heaps, but oh well. <sighs> what are friends for, huh? We can't go around looking like somebody has been hacking at us with kindergarten scissors. Back to the old Winston estate. That gate has more keep out signs than my brother's bedroom door. We couldn't possibly move the club there. We could just go look at it, just for fun. It wouldn't hurt to look. Think of the privacy we'd have there. Think of the trespassing we'd do there. It could be really, really dangerous. You don't know what's on the other side of the wall. Plus, my mom says I can't. But you're moving away. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, it's okay, Sarah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Lily could tell by the way they all gathered around Sarah that the real problem was sinking in. Sarah would be the first member of their club ever to move away. If she was gone, who would write poems for their birthdays and little club essays to celebrate special occasions? Mom says I'll make new friends, but I don't want new friends. I just want my old ones. Everything would be different without Sarah. And it hit Lily for the first time that the Sally Stuff Club wouldn't really last forever, like their bylaws said, and she wouldn't really be president for life. So I hear a motion that this meeting is adjourned. It's okay, honestly. We move you every day. Chattanooga can't be dead for. Visit, never forget you. Not moving until the end of summer anyway. Have two home months. A second. Meeting adjourned. Let's go to Eli's and get stuffed on cheesecake. Then we'll all feel better. Come on, my treat. Okay. As she pulled the door closed behind her, Lily glanced at their huge collection of stuff. Did she really care about everything there? Did she care about the lady's hat with a plastic canary on top that you could blow with like, like a whistle? Who had brought the hat to the Sully Stuff Club? If the hat to disband, would everyone remember what belonged to whom? Disband. How could she even think of such a thing? But some of the stuff, the actual stuff, was starting to seem, well, kind of silly. And hardly anybody brought new stuff anymore. They mainly just talked and painted each other's toenails.